Hello everyone, Brandon Montemayor here with Montemayor & Associates. Wanted to chat with you today about uh, tax season coming up. I know, sorry, I said it. Uh, don't shoot me. But uh, tax season, property taxes, and uh, uh, what to do when you have some questions on those types of things. So let's jump right in. With regards to uh, tax season, if you are planning on buying anything and getting a loan within the next couple years, right how you file today or in this you know next few months before April here will have huge impact on what you're gonna qualify for so we have people who write off a lot of items whether you're a business owner or you know you have the ability to write income down or defer things um, make sure you give us a call if you are thinking about buying for investment or primary residence purposes uh, you're selling and buying or just buying something and keeping an old one uh, make sure you let us know because we got to make sure you are showing enough income on there to qualify for whatever type of home you are looking to purchase again whether it's a primary residence or an investment now a few other things with regards to property taxes uh, and uh, the eyes are going here so bear with me uh, July 1st is the beginning of the tax year when it comes to property taxes October 1st is when the uh, first annual secured tax bill is uh, well that's when they're mailed October 1st November 1st is when it's due uh, at least on the front end December 10th is when it is the uh, the final due date if you don't want to pay any penalties then it's February 1st is when the uh, second installments are due April 10th is the last day to pay the second installment uh, and then June 30th is the end of the tax year and it starts back over at July 1st again so if you get a property tax bill and you believe uh, it's incorrect or it's too high if it's too low zip it you know but uh, if it's too high and you want to challenge it we can help you with that if you believe your bank is supposed to be paying because you pay impounds and that number seems to be off or there's not enough in the escrow account to cover it keep an eye on that stuff especially in your first few years of home ownership uh, you need to keep an eye on that because the bank can go way off and end up having to uh, assess you you know additional fees or bump your payment later on so again any questions with any of that you know where to find us have a great day and uh, call us with anything you might need we'll talk to you soon